more sea motion. Let's take a closer look. Why is it so different? In the right hand corner, you can see a target line and where that aims really affects the arcs, the hand path and the club path. Here, for instance, is the pro line. It's easiest to think about it like this. If you swing up at waist high, it looks like a baseball swing. Every student I ever had do this can swing perfectly. It's when you get bent over that things get complicated. It starts looking more like this. People start worrying about a lot more. Here's a typical swing of a person. It's over the top, face left. PGA teachers teach this. To swing straight with your feet aligned straight at the target. See motion is this, it's steeper. It's similar to over the top, but it's not. It's on plane, and the ball shoots out to the right. You control that by the face. The body likes this motion. It's very stable and free. It's not like over the top. Your shoulder actually goes down and around, not out and around. Can you see it now? Other unusual things are that you tee the ball low in the center of your stance. Your hands reach out. Staggered stance. If we go to the top, you'll notice some things. Here the face aligns with the left forearm. But the hands are only 12 inches away from where they started on the sagittal plane. So the hands are right in on the right shoulder, very close. Here once again, you can see the face aligning with the left forearm, which is rather conventional. But then we see the over the top move, but it's not, the club head's on plane. The shaft is stressed and you can see now the face points at the ball. The shaft has been extremely steepened. It's thrown well over the right forearm. This takes advantage of maximum leverage and shaft dynamics. Now you still see the face looking at the ball. Other unusual thing is the rolling of the left ankle. You can see that the pelvis simply opens when you use this move. It's a move unique to Lee. It speeds up its torso rotation as well. Once again, you can see the target line out to the right. And you can also see here, I put a line so you can see how tight his rotation of the torso is. He pivots around that axis like a top. Can you see it better now? Let me illustrate it one more way. You can see on the left where I circled his shoulders. He stays within that circle. On the right, the easiest way to see it is to put a circle around the shoulder line. And it looks more like a steering wheel. Ben Hogan used to do this. He used to swing in the barrel. Lee does the same thing. It's full torso rotation with a stable head. Put it all together and it's C motion, Como's motion.